Risk and reward starts right now. Comcast offering a new streaming service that offers broadcast networks and HBO for $15 a month. So Larry Fischelson is with me now. He is the Dynalink Communications CEO and Kate Schillow, Galvanize Ventures Director. Kate, what is your take on this Comcast deal? I think this should have happened a long time ago uh, for Comcast. I, this feels like table stakes now for this industry. Um, you know, I, I'm a millennial by definition and I haven't had cable for seven years and um, I'd, I'd like to see what they're going to do to market towards millennials to make sure that they're adopting this quite quickly. Larry, what do you make of the price because even for our Miss Millennial, all right, 15 bucks on this, let's say Netflix you add in 10, maybe you pick one or two more things, aren't you kind of getting close anyway to maybe a cable package that you want that includes your phone? Well, that's the whole idea. You're kind of getting closer. You're kind of getting higher. But it's all about the content, and, and, and that's where everything's going. They basically looked at the second quarter, Comcast, and said, hey, our Internet users are going past our video, video users, so we have to get into it. But they're able to subsidize it because of the broadband business. So we see the broadband business now. you got AT&T, DirecTV. If that goes through, that's a huge content deal. Verizon is going to get into the streaming as well. So it's the telecom providers. I'm in the telecom business that are... Now, you're carrying the content, you handle the content, broadband, video, all together. And in that part of the business, the company that Comcast has to be most worried about, I think, is Google. Am I right or wrong? You can tell me I'm wrong. I'm, um, I'm not so sure I really Google, because everyone's talking about Google, worrying about Google going out and building out. But they really, even though they have the money to build out, the wherewithal to go full and build out into broadband that's already there is a long way away. And I, I see they're just trying to dabble in it. I see it's going to drop. Yeah. All right. You agree with that? Content is king in this, too. I think that's a huge question. Sure. Yeah. Okay, and HBO, as we know, does do pretty good content. All right, speaking of which, Apple promising a free month of iCloud storage for cash-strapped Greek startups, which seems like pretty good PR. As an investor, Kate, what do you think? Great PR, right? I mean, they're sitting there at the forefront of this crisis and saying, oh, we're going to be favorable. Uh, on one hand, great. I hope more companies follow suit. On the other hand, what's 30 days really buy you? Um, you know, it's, I don't right. know. If you're bootstrapping a startup 30 days, I mean, you're grateful, but it just means you basically have a heart attack three, 30 days later. And this isn't going to be resolved in 30 days, I don't think. No, I think we're talking about years. You take I, don't, I don't believe also. I think the whole take of this is that we're even talking about a tech company like Apple getting a with a whole country and giving an entire country an extra month. Have we ever seen a tech company, forget the PR is wonderful here, but they're that big that they can even, that they even need to do well, this. Well, I mean, part of it came from the fact that Greeks didn't have access really to, to enough euros, and they were saying, oh, yeah. if you're paying Apple, that's considered an overseas payment, and it was getting blocked. I mean, yeah. people couldn't even download a song yeah. uh, for one ninety nine. All right, speaking of Silicon Valley, it seems like a lot of the former or soon-to-be former Obama administration employees are going out to California. Is this the return of narrative? I mean, do tech geeks need people who know how to spin after all? For sure. And this has been going on for a while. Um, I actually hope the next administration continues to do this reciprocal nature with Silicon Valley. Um, there's so much opportunity that both industries can learn from one another. And, um, you know, I, for one, Galvanize is hiring. We're looking for education leaders. So um, I, I can see the value in this for big, big time. Well, I mean, it's one thing when you put Washington folks together with tech folks, but of course the Obama administration folks like it because it's a big left-leaning city, San Francisco, and it's a big left-leaning business out there right now in the, in the tech business, so, so they do well in it. So I'm not sure, so, so sure, though, if I like to have the Washington folks getting up in the, in the tech business. I'm not sure that's, that's so good. Well, although on some <laughs> of these bigger issues like net neutrality, I mean, there has been a lot more exchange, also privacy. I mean, Tim Cook winning the same award as Edward Snowden as far as privacy. So sure. there are a lot of these bigger picture policy issues which are very much linked to the tech community, which is probably why it's all happening. All right, hold these thoughts. We have a very quick break to take. More with Larry and Kate when we come back.